uh, this Sergeant Peace Larson. Hope everybody had a good Easter. Today, we're going to talk about exercising as I prepare for a forearm strike. Clothesline if you're into wrestling. Straight arm, stiff, right below the collarbone, top part of the chest, upper chest. If you need to go through a room, clear some people, clear a crowd, bam, come across with some clothesline. You need to have some good muscles to be effective. Take everybody off their feet and not get injured. Can't go around fighting people if you get injured every time you fight. Start with some wrist curls. I've warmed up a bit. Basically, we're going to work, and this isn't just arm day. This is the muscles to clothesline somebody. Let's make this effective. In other words, training with purpose, training with intensity, training with motivation, training with aggravation, training with spirit, beast style training, get the job done training. You see where I'm going with this? Just do some curls. Just rotating my wrist a little bit. We're gonna get exciting here in just a second. Just doing five, been warming up. Did five on each side. Cross over a little bit. Now it makes sense, now you get the point. Let's do five. a little faster, you notice? I'm going to lean forward just a little bit, two hands, dumbbell. I'm doing the front part of my delts. That's five. Now I'm going to hold this in two hands, I'm going to lean back, almost like an incline dumbbell. Supporting my hand. So let's talk about this, the anatomy. Clothesline. See up close, you're making contact with your forearm, your bicep, not your shoulder, you're too close. Forearm and bicep. You need power, explosion coming this way. Coming up to somebody like this. So you're escorting somebody. You got your hand by the arm and they're getting carried away, getting carried away. You turn and take them right off your feet. Just like this. Okay? We're building muscles for a clothesline. How do you deliver a clothesline? Say my arm right here, center of my body, is where that person's standing, the inmate, the bad guy, the person attacking you, the person robbing you, trying to kill you, steal your kids. You're not just swinging like this. Not swinging like this. You're not swinging like this. That's not impacting somebody. You don't swing to meet this object. Person's right here. You're not swinging to meet him. You're swinging to go past him. Past him like this. Say, person here, you're swinging this far. So your target area is right here. In other words, you're swinging through that person you're not done exploding, accelerating the power explosion until you get to this point that's beyond your subject. The end goal is to knock him off his feet, say maybe 10 to 15 feet down the road. That's a reasonable go. That's what your explosion is. It's not, he's right here, hey, get off, let go, get off, get off, get off. It's, get off. See, I went off the screen with that. Exploded. See how I come up like this? Boom. Okay. So now you know how to do this. We talk about using your training partner. Don't go to your training partner and blast them and knock them somersault back across the floor. You know, knock, knock over your wife's knickknacks and things that are hanging up. Don't, don't tear up your partner and don't tear up the house. Tear the weights up. Get prepared. When you need to defend yourself, defend yourself. Now, we just did a little warm-up. We did a set of fives. You know, I think I did 10 wrist curls. I don't even remember. Because counting's not important. 
You're training to fight. You're not counting three sets of 10, five sets of eight. You're not meeting a number or putting a checklist and writing down a piece of notebook paper. Got a good buddy, super, super power lifter back in the day. He's got 50 years of documented training records. That's how he did it. I'm switching hands. I'm working on my grip while I talk. He did a great job back in the day. I write nothing down. I asked him why he did. He told me. He said, why don't you write it down? I said, I train how I feel in here, in my heart, in my head. What's motivating me for that day? What's motivating me? Let's just hold this out here. Remember? Collapse. Don't let your lungs expand. That's all right. I do my breathing exercises. Do you? Let's talk about something before we go in here. We're going to tear up a couple sets and show you what tearing it up looks like. Switch and hold. You watch videos, police and corrections. You watch videos, officers getting attacked, fighting on the street. You watch them, you watch them. Does it bug you? How many of you stop and do push-ups or jumping jacks? How many of you go straight and go do some working out because it infuriates you? Look at this. I'm not holding this on my chest. I'm not cheating. I'm holding this because I'm getting, I'm about to tell you something that's going to get you lit. Working behavior means one night. Sergeant, it's about lockdown time. I've always got in the back of my, my ear and my mind lockdown. Things about to get happen, about to get ugly. Call, come on the radio. Give a code officer need assistance. Multiple inmates with weapons. That's the call you don't ever want to hear. Holy crap is the nice thing that we said. We come busting out our arterial unit, go run up the sidewalk, run to that dorm. We run it. We had a far run. It wasn't close. Like four dorms away. Five dorms. I ran from H building. If you know where I was at. H building and Hayes down to B. We get in there. The fighting had stopped. What I saw on video, I watched about 25 times. We're going to tear this up. I watched over a dozen inmates attacking and punching three officers, beating them on the back with broomsticks, mop handles, mop sticks, punching the officer in the eye repeatedly, busted his orbital bone, his eyeballs almost hanging out, couldn't even see or recognize from the swelling, pounding on them three officers, sergeant two officers. When you talk about mad, I come in that door. And them inmates were like, oh crap, Sarge is here. They're talking about me because they knew. They knew the path of destruction that I've left and what I was about to do. We was about to start destructing. Only we were professional and we didn't destruct. Everybody was on the ground. Everybody got cuffed. Everybody got searched. Everybody got taken care of, officers and inmates, the proper way. You gotta always remember, it's a war zone. You still have rules. Still have rules. See, I'm getting warmed up now. I'm getting aggravated. You know what it's like watching your friends get beat on the back with broomsticks and they're so outnumbered that they can't fight? They try to tase one. Moving around didn't even work. Just turn around like this, taking blows to the back. This right here, two-hand dumbbell row. Standing up like this. I'm making my back thick. So I can carry the weight, carry the weight, take the weight, take the weight. This is grip exercise right here. Tossing my dumbbell from hand to hand. Now imagine, you listen to this story. 12 inmates, three officers, sergeant, two officers. Sergeant leaned over, put his hands on officers, tried to take most of the beating himself. You know, the next day I had paperwork wrote, I was a sergeant. I had the paperwork wrote for all three of them to get a medal. A combination battle for bravery for what they tried to do because I watched what they tried to do they were just outnumbered next day I had metal had the paperwork in we had roll call had them all stand up front presented salute shook their hand we the lieutenant and I told them how proud we were of them that's what you do to treat to take care of your brothers take care of your officers but you don't want to have them have to go through a beating to say they're great. Tell them they're great every day. 
Are you fired up? Are you mean yet? You want a good clothesline? Like Hulk Hogan always bragging about the pythons he had? He had a good clothesline now. Get this dumbbell in your hand. Get that ugly face on it. See? This is how you get ugly. You start thinking, talking about somebody fighting, punching, beating on your officers. Gotta get some front delts going. Let's throw some wrist curls in. Get these muscles pumped up. Cause when I close something, buddy, when the clothesline comes, where the forearm strike is what you're gonna write on paper, forearm strike to the upper chest, you want them to feel it. You want them to feel, feel what's coming right here. When you work out, stop counting on numbers and playing this game. Stop looking around the gym seeing who's noticing you. You're standing there looking at mirror. Them eyeballs. That goatee, you got a goatee. Put a mohawk on your head or something. That meanness on your head. These people are hurting you. Fighting riots in prison. Attacking officers. Sucker punching officers. You're resting somebody's eyes in the back of your head. They want to come near you. Bam! You see that right there? You see that elbow? That elbow puts people in intensive care. I'm going to show you how to train for an elbow like that too. See that? We can have retired police. I have a heavy and strong manpower lifting. We got retired. Friday night, go to Papa John's. Go pick up the pizza. It's crowded in Papa John's in the lobby. This is my turn. People all behind me. You know the lines. Summertime hot. Everybody wants pizza. I go to get my wallet. Get my wallet to pay and I go like this. Hit a dude, put him in the glass. Didn't break the glass. Got behind me, knocked him all the way back. I was just reaching for my wallet. That's the power in my rear delt, my tricep, my lat right here. Explosion. I didn't mean to do it. I was home told my wife, I was never so proud. Proud to throw this elbow. Sorry to you, buddy. At Papa John's, never knew who you were. Everybody else that catches the elbow, builds you an elbow like this. The kind of elbow that stops people in their tracks. You want a clothesline? You want to power through somebody? We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that. This isn't spar. This ain't touch spar. You don't go to work with a uniform and a badge on. Says you're a police, you're a correction. You don't go out with your wife and your kids. Go have a nice date. Go have a nice date at the movie. Some idiot, some punk wanna come up and come steal your money, steal her purse. You don't go up to him and be like, oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, give me the purse back. Give me the purse back. Boom, you explode right through them. If they're harming you, you explode through them. Through them. That's two words. Not through them. Through them. Not one syllable, through them. Pass them and they go tumbling down. They're not gonna run 12 feet and come back and get it a second time. They're gonna stay away from you. This is how to deliver, build and deliver mentally and physically the forearm, forearm to the upper chest is what you're gonna write on paper. What you're doing people is clothesline like Hulk Hogan did like Sergeant Beast Larson did. Explode. Make a couple of seams in your shirt rip when you hit that. Hit that clothesline, that forearm, veins get bulging out of your arms. That's the power you're gonna put on them. If they attack you, put them in the ground. On the ground, right down there. They won't get back up. I'll see you soon. We'll talk about building the elbow strike.